I did an e-bike review a few weeks ago, maybe two months ago, and I was looking for a foldable e-bike that I could use whilst going out in the caravan without the need to put it on the bike racks at the back. So fold it up and put it in the car. As a result of that review, I got an email from Engway asking me if I wanted to review a bike, which I refused. Now the reason I refused to review that e-bike they were talking to me about, it was a 750 watt, not usable in the UK on the roads. There's no point in me reviewing the 750 watt bike because majority of my subscribers, viewers are in the UK, some in Europe, some Australia and, and New Zealand. I went back to Ingway and said, I can't review those. There's no point because although I'd love the bike because wow, throttle, really fast, fantastic. I can only use it off-road and all of my viewers would be able to, yeah, to use it off-road. So they came back to me the next day saying, what about the 250 watt? I didn't know there was one. So they sent me a link to, anyway, cut a long story short, they sent me a 250 watt version. Um, it's the Engway Engine X. I'll show you in a second, but I just wanted to clear up a few of those things. Well, it's got a certificate of conformity in the EU. So you can use this on the road. Now the key thing is a 200 watt engine, uh, a 200 watt engine, 200 watt motor. That's key, really. Obviously, don't enable the throttle if you're using it on the road. That would be foolish. Now, I've seen some comments on other vlogs, people saying, oh, it's only a problem if you get caught. Yes, very true. So why do you pay tax? It's only a problem if you get caught. Why, why do you not break the law, murder somebody? It's only a problem if you get caught. That said, without further ado, let's have a look at the bike. Now, the wheels are uh, aluminium, so they're very, they're very light. Now, talking of weight, it comes. the bike comes in at 31 possibly 37 kilograms i'm not sure i think maybe 31 without the battery 37 with the battery now what i did find is it's very very well packaged so it took me half an hour to cut off all the um, cable ties and remove all the plastic padded plastic kind of well, packaging and then probably another 45 minutes to put it all together now there are some fantastic youtube videos out there putting these bikes together. So let's have a quick look at the bike in a bit more detail. So there's your rear bike rack that I spoke of. Seven speed Shimano gears and the motor at the end. Um, I'll put a picture of this here, but there's your, your conformity statement on the back of the seat post. Probably can't see it there, but I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. Nice padded seat, nice thing, nice touches like a um, little handle there, which comes in handy when you're folding it up. You see, anyway, Engine X foldable pedals. You can see the other one there is folded. Um, that's one of the folding mechanisms here that folds the bike in half. And there is a key here. Now you need the key. You need to keep the key in there when cycling. I thought a bit weird, but you turn it and then you can remove the battery when it's unfolded. So part of the suspension there, and then front suspension here again a lot of a lot of people i've seen upgrade these um because they're not class leading shall we say but then at the price point you probably wouldn't expect it to be front light which runs off the battery mechanical brakes so some people have upgraded to hydraulic brakes it's not something i'd do personally comes with a bell fantastic there's your computer which has got a whole load of things that i won't get into at the moment is your gear shifts up and down. That's pretty much it, that's the whole bike. So I wanna show you me fold this up before I get it dirty and take it out. So it does fold. Now there's a foot stand there, which I didn't mention before. I'll do the handlebars first. So there's a little clip here. You pull that up, pull it up like that. That releases that handlebar and it drops down there. Nice, then there's the handle here that you pull there. Then that enables the bike to fold in half. Pedals can go in, as I mentioned before, hopefully you'll be able to see this. If not, you just push it in, pull it up, and they're like that. So pull it round so that you can see, mind the light. Hinge there, you simply, say simply, I mean, as I said, it is a weighty bike, so. That's it. And there's a little stand there that enables you to just rest it on the floor. So that's folded up. As I mentioned, there's a little white stand down there, which prevents the actual frame of the bike from hitting the ground, which is great. There's your folded pedals. 
Now one thing I would like is some kind of clip that holds all this together. Maybe you could use a bungee cord. In fact, I might use that moving forward. So that's it folded up. And then the opposite is true. To unfold it, you just lift it round, lock this bit in place. As I showed you, just go lock, then handlebars up. And it will lock there, done. And then obviously you could straighten out your pedal, just bang, and there you go, there you go. Foot stand there. So it really isn't difficult to fold and unfold. It's a very good mechanism. My only complaint would be the weight, but then you can't have it both ways. You can't have a very sturdy bike that's very light, unless you want to pay a lot more money, like for a Brompton or something like that, and that's probably double the price of these. So here we are, out and about on the Engway Engine X. Now, initial thoughts. Now, my electric bike that I currently got is a Cube. Um, completely different setup to this. It's got the motor on the pedals, and um, it's a different type of sensor. It's a torque sensor rather than a cadence, or the other way around. I can't remember if I'm honest now. Anyway, this is very, very different. Now, first time out on a bike that's got full suspension, and I have to say, it is the most comfortable ride I've ever had on a bike. I think the saddle helps because it's quite a padded saddle, but with the full suspension and the padded saddle, it seems to make a real difference. So initial thoughts, so one, very comfortable. Secondly, the motor on this, it works very differently to the Cube that I've got. Now what this does, it, if you're not careful, it catches you unawares, it will kick in um, and kind of nearly have you off the back of the bike almost. It is quite uh, powerful, even though it's 250 watt UK EU legal bike, um, it packs a punch. Now it doesn't seem to matter what gear you're in, uh, but I don't know if you could sense it there, it's, it's off. So I'm in the lowest gear, seventh gear, which is normally hard to pedal, uh, but this Wow, it, okay, it just goes, which is good. It makes life very easy, and that's only on assistance level two. Let's buy a very nice duck pond here. So like I say, here's the computer. It's got lots of different functions, and here it tells you your assistance level, one through five, and on here are your Shimano gears, which actually, considering it's the um, entry level gearing system it's very good and I'd, in fact I prefer it to the to the cube which has got the uh, one of the top of the range sets of gears but this seems a lot more um, positive especially the up gear there
let's just stop here by the old duck pond. So impressions of the Engway Engine X. Wow, it's uh, it's quite a bike. I mean, the only the only downside I've got with it is the weight, as I said earlier. But I mean, um, the suspension works fantastically. Um, the fat tires are really good, even on the road. And I'd, I'd imagine you don't want fat tires on a non-electric bike. That would be uh, quite difficult. So in summary, very good e-bike, easy to put together, robust. Um, anything you could want in an e-bike really. The mechanical brakes are fine. Um, like I say, you could upgrade everything on this bike really. Um, but the, the icing on the cake is that, although it's a legal bike in the UK and Europe, you can de-restrict things um, when you go off-road. And to be honest, that throttle would be a heap, a heap of fun. No problems going uphill so far with the assistance. Uh, if anything, the assistance is, a, if you've used to ride in a, the other type of e-bike, either Cadence or Torque, I can't remember, whatever this isn't, <laughs> that's helpful. Um, if you have, you've ridden one of those before, this is a different beast. With a motor on the crank against the motor on the back wheel, the motor on the crank seems to be a more subtle introduction of power, whereas this is a very power and you you know it's like someone taking a run up and giving you a shove once you get used to that it, it's actually in some ways better it seems to give you more assistance although you can dial back the assistance if you want to work harder if you're a crazy person unlike me i like as much assistance as i can get right so i'm on a little bit of private road here and i have um turned on the throttle just to see what it's like but it's still got speed restrictions so i'll get up to 15 and a half and it will cut out let's have a go Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Fifth, 14, 15 and a half. Yeah, it's cut out. Right, so here's the end of the private road, so I'll disable the throttle again, like a law-abiding citizen. One last thing, it has like a, if you put it in assistance level one and hold it down, it will let you, it will help you walk, which helps you get it up hills. That's it for this uh, little review, hope you enjoyed it. There will be links in the description, which may contain affiliate links. So if you bought one of these bikes through those links, I would get a tiny commission and of which I would be very grateful, obviously. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. This is Quality Caravan Vlogging.